Hello, this is Marin Peasley with Symantec. This video will show how to match usernames against Active Directory user attributes. VIP Enterprise Gateway supports a variety of attributes and even multiple attributes from a user store for identification. This can start with a popular SAM account name attribute, or possibly user principal name, or even an email attribute. VIP Enterprise Gateway can then take what the user types in and compare it against any of those for positive user identification. Now let's see how this is configured. We are currently logged on to VIP Enterprise Gateway and the user store tab has already been selected so we're looking at our user stores. We're going to add employee ID as an attribute uh, to our lookup here under all users. So first let's take a look at Active Directory. So here we are looking at the HR users and you can see that employee ID has been filled out for these users. That was done via drop down menu available here. Here's where we can fill in this information and the attribute underneath is available in this list. And there is employee ID. So this is the actual name of the attribute. Pretty easy to remember. So let's go back to VIP Enterprise Gateway. Now I'll open up the user store we're going to edit. And on the search criteria tab, we're going to change the user filter to also include that employee ID. So when the user types in a value, what's matched with percent %s here, we can both look for SAM account name and the employee ID. So first I'm going to copy this out into Notepad. I'm going to space this out a little bit. And now we're working just with the SAM account name. Now to make this simple addition, what I do is just type in employee ID next to the SAM account name. I'll add the equals percent s, put it in parentheses. And now to match either one of these, we use uh, the bar to refer to or logic and put this itself in parentheses. So we have parentheses bar, either one of these things that are in parentheses, and that's it. Let's get rid of the white space. And we have our filter. So this is an example of an easy change uh, to make to that Active Directory filter. Hit save. And we're done. Now let's test it to make sure it works. I'll put the employee ID, the password, and the current security code from the credential that was previously bound to this user, just to make sure that this works. And it worked. We're logged in. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you very much.